Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Buried secrets unearthed. SNP's dream of independence is collapsed, Sturgeon's apocalypse has come. Nicola Sturgeon allegedly suppressed a critical study on the SNP's plans for independence. Nicola Sturgeon hid a study outlining the serious faults in her independence proposal, according to Scottish Conservative Stephen Kerr. Many comments said, wow. Cranky buried independence a report showing the disadvantages of Scottish? On the other hand, Sturgeon. The scourge of the Scots venting her wrath on the majority of Scots who detest her and her incompetent crew. Heading for 19 years of failure. Meanwhile, many people think, SNP, majority of them, don't want to be in the EU. So it looks like the faux woman known as genocidal Nicola will be off to Portugal with her GF and not taking the country with her. Phew, Scotland is safe. In a recent speech, Miss Sturgeon said, next year, COVID permitting, as we emerge from winter into spring, the campaign to persuade a majority of people in Scotland that our future will be more secure as an independent nation will resume in earnest. In the course of next year, I will initiate the process necessary to enable a referendum before the end of 2023. But contrary to this, the Tory MSP Stephen Kerr said, independence would be economically devastating for Scotland, over 60% of everything we make ends up being sold in the UK. Ms Sturgeon would be intent on making a customs border at Berwick or Carlisle. It would be outrageous, it would impoverish Scotland. Even their own growth commission, Andrew Wilson is one of their own MSPs, he did a report on the economic impact of independence which was buried by the SNP. According to many readers' opinions, R. Sturgeon's dial-up amnesia and her scandalous suppressing of truth comes as no surprise. Her poison spreads far and deep. Scotland will prosper once this heinous harridan is removed from her senior councillor seat, along with the SNP deluded disciples and the compost party. Another person named Zand One said, Sturgeon suppressing the truth get away, surely not, shock horror, not the woman's an even bigger liar than Johnson and that s some achievement even for her. Nicola Sturgeon will appear at First Minister's questions today, urging Scots to heed Covid's advice in light of the Omicron variant, a source said. For her part, she's companies to reinstate the flexible work arrangements that were in place during the shutdown but has also warned that further limitations might be applied at any time. But according to many other opinions, it is said that, liar liar oh slipped my mind when it suits me and look at the money and pension and bodyguards Illinois get stuff the working class we of the SNP are the only party to teach kiddies at school vote for us. Another person named John O said, yes Scotland is a net beneficiary of the United Kingdom, but why should we tell them? It would be better to keep quiet and let Sturgeon lead them to English independence from Scotland. Think of the money that we will save. Not least of all, the NHS will have an entire nation not to serve. But, difficult and unpopular choices would be made on a daily basis rather than weekly, First Minister Theresa May has said Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is optimistic that the current Armacran controversy would not derail her campaign for independence. 